around with you for 20 years. Now she's yours. Do you love him? So when you think you got life figured out? Game changes. Unanswered prayers. World premiere now on Lifetime. Just the other night at a hometown football game, my wife and I ran into my old high school flame. And as I introduced them, the past came back to me. And I couldn't help but think of the way things used to be. Pass the ball, you better pass it. Pass it. You gotta get it. Oh, boom! Oh, man. Turn that down to just below the pain threshold, please. Hey, hey, there she is. Bud, come in here. Hey, that's Mom? That is. Mom, check it out. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I could ever do that. I believe it. You could do that. Lori, that skirt, you could see halfway to Paris. Where'd you guys find the tapes? Behind the workbench in the garage, the boys were cleaning. Just put on your second birthday at Wheeler Farm. Those oh. giant turtle races. Oh, you were a hottie. What do you mean, what? Exactly. You're a hottie. Your wife, dear. Is supper ready soon? Your father's about to chew wood. Almost. Hey, hey, yeah, everybody quiet down. Here it comes. This is your father's defining moment, son. Keep your eye on number 32. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on it, Dad. Henry, take your hand out of the chicken salad. Third and long, Whitman drops back. Let's it fly. Deep, deep. Interception! Yeah! yeah! Back to the Woo! He's Touch going, he's going. To, to the final! Oh. Touchdown! And the crowd goes insane! And that was the game. That was good. Hey, hero boy, do you think you can help me? Okay, okay, the table? No, enough for you. Now, here is Jesse at the turtle races. No, 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 no. hold on, hold on. You're going to miss the glorious aftermath. Ben Beck, you just won the Super Bowl. Now, where are you going now? Who is that? Really hot. Come on, help us set the table. Hey, it was just getting good. Come on, let's go, bud. Dinner is served. Hallelujah. And may we always be mindful of the needs of others. Amen. 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 Okay, so who's that smoking hot chick that was all over you? Jesse, pass the salad. She was a friend of mine. We dated for a while. Oh, she was looking definitely friendly. Best chicken salad I ever tasted, honey. Mm -hmm. I remember those cheerleading uniforms. Very short. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mom, too short. We all agree. Daddy, the biscuits are made from scratch. Hey, what is what is scratch? What does it even mean? Ava Anderson, right? The brunette? Always reminded me of Ava Garden. Anybody need anything? When Ava moved to this town, it was like Angelina Jolie had just enrolled at Stone Creek High. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot to tell you. Mm. She died. Angelina Jolie? Ava? No, no, her mother, Lila. They found her last week on the kitchen floor. Oh. Marlene Cox told me. Of course, that woman went through enough with that daughter. Irene, here, have some iced tea. She must be in town now, funeral and all. Hey, Jess, you guys ready for that game against Lynchburg Wednesday? They're looking tough. Mm -hmm. Last I heard, she was living in Europe. Husband number two. Mom, can you stop gossiping? I could, Lori. I absolutely could. But what fun would that be? <laughs> Mom. Mm. Hey. Hey. I got something for you. Oh, yeah? More bells? Oh, yeah, very funny. Close your eyes. Uh. Oh, just close them. What? Okay. <laughs> I found it in a box, huh? Yeah, where I'm sure it was quite happy. Hey, why did you turn that video off? Huh? When? When Ava had you in the lip lock. You didn't want your son to see that his dad had the smokingest girl in high school? Hey, dad married the smokingest girl in high school. Right answer. Uh-huh. Put it on. Get out of here. Come on. I'm all greasy. I'll get you all greasy. Get me all greasy. Mm -hmm. I can take it 
Checks here, and I went over the uh, Lofton proposal. What'd you think? I think you bid it right. Can we bid any lower? I just don't want this one to get away. Can you bid any lower and make any money? Not really. Then, unless you want to do this just for the exercise, I think you probably got a good number. I'm going. Thanks, Daddy. See you, Pete. Take care, Lori. Yeah, I think he's gonna be fine with it. He's gonna be able to. Hey, Ben. Hey, baby. Paychecks. Excellent. How's it coming? Mm, good. We're going to wrap this thing up tomorrow, I think. Listen, I'm a little worried about next month. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm betting on Lofton coming through. Hey. OK. What if it doesn't? Hey, look, what if it what if it rains tomatoes? We'll we'll make Bloody Marys. But what if the bank, the bank wants to loan us a bucket load of money? Then we'll gladly accept it. Well. I set the meeting for Wednesday, but we need to seriously come up with a plan. Uh, I mean, uh, look, I've got Jimmy Horton here doing his inspection. Can we put this discussion on ice? Yes. Speaking of which, I brought you a smoothie. Ah, uh, bless you. I got them for everybody, Jimmy Horton included. Now, would that be considered? No. <laughs> You are good. That's why you married me. Come on, give us a cheer. <laughs> hey, Jimmy! I really loved that article. It was really beautiful. I was like in tears. So we went back to Somalia, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you still keep in contact with him? Yeah, you know, we tweet and tweet and tweet. <laughs> uh, this is for you. Oh, I'll see you later, OK? Thanks. Oh. Bye, Michelle. What do you got there? Oh, a cupcake. Let me see that. Mm. Hey. No eating and driving. Do the drill. Just seat. Check the mirrors. Don't run anybody over. Good idea. Man, this is excellent. You should have brought one for yourself. Oh, I did, actually. How so was school today? Uh, same old, same old. How was work? Same old, same old. <laughs> Hey, you know, I caught the end of practice. You're looking a little slow out there. Slow? Yeah, Frankie was all over you. You have to know where he is at all times. You got to feel him behind you. I mean, just get that body's radar going. Oh, where do I get that installed? Becks are born with it. <laughs> slow down. You're doing 40 and a 30. Yeah, everybody does 40. Yeah, well, not you, pal. Good choice. Who's it from? Monette. <laughs> it's Monet. You know, like the artist? Oh, tattoo girl? Yeah. Well, she's an artist with a cupcake, I'll tell you that. Mm. Mm. She works uh, part time at the baby cakes, so they give her the day olds. Hey, you know, Coach T? Mm. Says the scout from UVA is coming. Great win. Homecoming. Sweet. Mm -hmm. No pressure, huh? Mm. <laughs> hey, make a right. Right, right, right here. Okay. What was that about? That was about being on your toes. Huh? When you're driving, you know, it's reaction time. Sometimes you just got to think fast, OK? Wait, so that was a test. That's right, that was a test. Because you never know when something's going to pop out at you, OK? All right. All right. Stop sign. Just. Did you read Jesse's story in the school paper? No. I'll show it to you. It's about a Somalian exchange student. It's really touching. I think he has a gift. Hey, you know, Rick called. He wanted to know what the company was donating for the event. I told him we were kind of feeling the crunch this year. No, no, Dad got us a four-wheeler. Honey, we can't afford a four-wheeler. Ryan Paul needed his driveway fixed, so he traded. 
Thank you, Pop. Mm -hmm. I'll take it to the hotel tomorrow. Then uh, Jeanette and I are going to go over to Ava Anderson's. Yeah? I thought we'd bring her some flowers, a casserole, or something. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah. Do you no. want to? No. You sure? Yeah, no, no, no. You, you I, go. I figured you didn't. Yeah. Oh. oh. I don't think Jesse meant this for me. What is it? You were looking so fly today. I can't wait to tap that. I think that was meant for Monette. Monette? Well, oh, actually, it's Monet, you know, like the artist. Uh -huh. She makes cupcakes. Oh. Enter. How's the homework coming? Oh, you know, it is so exciting, Mom, all this knowledge. Well, it would be really fly if you could tap that chemistry. Mom, Monet. Crap. Mm. Good night. Bye. Oh my God, this house. Why am I nervous? You're the one that shouldn't be nervous. Why should I be nervous? You know, the history. Ancient, Jeanette. Yeah, well, she ain't looking so ancient. <sighs> Anyway, I got the guy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Lori! <laughs> and Jeanette, uh, Jeanette, Tuttle, oh, we're in algebra two together. Right, right. You girls look so wonderful. Oh, you, you look great. Oh no, please, I'm in the middle of cleaning. Oh, I we, look a wreck. We brought you. We're so sorry about your mom. Thank you. That is yeah. so sweet. Come in. Fantastic. We put on some coffee. Oh, this house is gorgeous. What year was it built? Uh, 1908. So, my mom said you're living in Europe? Oh, that was years ago. I've been in Chicago. This is all so interesting, all this exotic artwork. I would pick up things from mom over the years. I was a buyer from Marshall Fields. Come sit. Thank you. So, fill me in. What have I missed? Oh, well, I married Ricky Kiesel. And Ricky is superintendent of the county school board, and we have three kids. Three kids? Wow. And you? Kids? No. No kids. Three husbands, but no kids. Oh, that's something. So, Lori, how's Ben? He's fine. He's doing great. Just great. He joined our family construction company. Completely took to it. This is Chloe Rose, our youngest. She's eight. And uh, this is Danny, our middle one. He's the smart one. Oh, <laughs> okay. And, Lori, what about you? I work at the company as well. I'm sort of the business side of the business. That's great. Oh, yeah, Ben and Lori are together 24-7. I don't know how they do it. The best part of my day is when Ricky leaves for work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Lane, uh -huh. and he's in high school, plays football. He's on the bench mostly, but it's fine with me because then he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so is your husband here with you? Oh, no. Jerry and I divorced years ago. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Believe me, it was the right thing. Oh. So you're single. Yes, sirree. <laughs> I'm gonna go get that coffee. Way right back. Great. Thank you, Ava. You know, if you're gonna be around on this Saturday, because we're um, having something called the Harvest Ball, we're raising funds for the community pool. Oh, That's well, nice. Jeanette, we didn't come here to sell raffle tickets. No, no, no. I, I would love to see everybody. I'll try to make it. Ava. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, kind of personal? Sure. Have you had something done, you know, some kind of plastic surgery? <laughs> no, but, you know, we're aging on fast forward. She's like on pause. Uh, no, I have not had any work done. I guess it's good genes. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You take care. I'll have a great day. Thank you. Oh! I'm surprised your mom didn't break her neck on this sidewalk. Jeanette, inappropriate. Why? Mother just died. Bye. And the winner is Jan McCauley. Come get your beautiful chainsaw, which matches your lovely dress. <laughs> Use it. Use it in good health. Now we have an oil painting from our own local Rembrandt, Ricky the Easel Kiesel. And the uh, <clears throat> lucky winner is... <laughs> Sample Larson! Come on down. Be 
can put that right above your fireplace. Oh, or so you can hang it in your garage. <laughs> Love you too, honey. <laughs> all right, all right. For our final item, and actually this is a good one, it is a, a, a romantic weekend for two in <laughs> Miami Beach, hotel and airfare included. And the winner is, drum roll please, <laughs> no name on the ticket. Read the number, honey. Oh, yeah. My wife is more brilliant than me. Read the number. Okay, 1478625. Bingo! That's yours! <laughs> gonna do with a romantic weekend. I'd rather have the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Remember correctly, this gentleman was quite the dancer. Oh my goodness, Ava, <laughs> look at you. Shall we? Uh, well, if you think you can keep up. I'll try. Shall we do tonight? The take was a B minus. BMC and A plus. Thanks for doing it. I think this is my dance. Well, I needed time today, and I needed space, and I found Hi, Ben. Eva. Sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, thank you. Do you want to dance? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of danced out at the moment. Lori looks beautiful. She came by. She's so lovely. Yes, yeah, she is. And you have a son. Yep, Jesse. <clears throat> Listen, can we at least move our feet a little bit? I'm feeling a little stupid. <laughs> um, I have to sell my mom's house, and it needs some work. Does your company do that sort of thing? Sure. Yeah, I can send someone out, get you a bid. Okay, thanks. Ben, I need to say some things to you. I'm having a really great time tonight. And to tell you the truth, I don't want to hear them. Was the night a success? It was wonderful, honey. Absolutely wonderful. Well, I needed you today. I called out your name. But you were not there. Unanswered Prayers is brought to you by Country Strong in theaters everywhere January 7th. To be a hooker for that to work. Marry Me, the two-night movie event starts Sunday, December 12th on Lifetime. I don't see here that you have enough collateral to guarantee this loan extension. Our heavy equipment is worth over $2 million. So here's the deal. We're gonna need to level it first. Can you just lay down the asphalt? No, not unless you want a lake here when it rains. Well, that's something, but we don't usually collateralize against... We're waiting for a go from the state on a job up in Lofton. Well, how much are we talking here, Ben? Because you know I got a friend in this business, ain't right. Look, if you have a friend who'll do the job better than me for a better price, then I say go for it. You have a commitment letter? No, not yet. <laughs> Okay, you got it. It's all right, Charlie. Everybody always has a friend. What about this? When we expanded our offices, I financed the loan through First National. What if we refinance that loan with you? I'll fax a bid over for you. You'll be happy. Friendly bid? Yeah, a friendly bid. I'll get it to you today. Hey, hon, how'd it go? It was dicey. But we got a little creative, and I think we're going to make it work. Excellent. I just signed Moreno. It's not huge, but it's something. Hey, I got a Yanni calling on the other line. Let me call you back. Love you. I love you. Hey, Yanni, what's up? 
Oh, hey, Yanni. A leaking pipe, man. That's what's caused the sidewalk to settle. We need to install a new water line, bypass it all together. Yeah, let's just get the bobcat in here, put in a new sidewalk. Ouch. No, it sounds worse than it is. Yanni will fix it up. Yeah, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Okay. Hey, um, Ben, would you mind looking at the fireplace? I started a fire last night and nearly smoked myself out. out at UVA. Didn't want to be part of the GIMP squad, so I came back to Ashland. Oh, wow, this is a mess. You got a lot of creosote buildup in here. Want to see? Yeah. Don't okay. build any more fires. You could have the town's biggest blowtorch. There you go. Okay. You see what I mean? Oh, I'll have Lester Gill come out and take care of it. Hey, thanks for doing all this work around here. Don't be afraid to send me a bill. Well, in that department, I'm fearless. Ben. I want to talk about what happened. Eva, it's okay. No, it's We not. were kids. Forget it. I can't forget you it. See, here's the thing. You had 20 years to explain. And I wanted to. I know. I know. My line was busy, right? Listen, I, w I was embarrassed, okay? You were away at college. I panicked. And, and Don Cahoon, he was my ticket out of town, you know? His fancy clothes and his stupid Porsche. That is such a relief. I thought you left me for Don Cahoon. I didn't know what to say without hurting you, so I just chose you know not what? to say. You did hurt me. I called you for weeks. And then I had to call your mother to get the scoop. Oh, I know. You and I were talking about getting engaged. I mean, did I miss something? I just kept procrastinating, and months went by, month after month, and then I didn't know what to say. So I just, I'm sorry. I am sorry that I hurt you. How many times have you been back here? Huh? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, what, three years ago, you waved to me from across the park? I and mean, what the hell is that? I don't know. <sighs> hey. Uh, no. We're having a little situation at the house with Jesse. I could kind of use your help. Where are you? I, I'm on a job, but uh, I'm done. So uh, I'll be home. I can be there in 20 minutes. Okay. <sighs> Good. Bye. Everything okay? Uh, teenagers. Mom, you, uh, you know Monet? Well, I didn't, but I do now. Hi, Mrs. Beck. Uh, I've got to get to work, okay? Bye, it's really nice to meet you. Hey, where are you going? For Brandon and Kiana, call 1855-SKATE-01. So what? Is it got to be so damn tough? Cory Becker and Fred, call... Oh, that was humiliating. Look, I'm sorry. She's never it's home. It's cool. I'm a big girl. Guess we just call the game. Big time interference, huh? Yeah. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Ben? I'm sorry I hurt you. I'd give anything to do it all different. this been going on? A little while, a few weeks. I guess you know about STDs. Mom. Well, I'm sorry if this is embarrassing for you. It was kind of embarrassing for me. Now I hope she's using birth control. Jess, if you get this girl pregnant... Dude, chill out. Don't tell me to chill out. Hey, look, we're not stupid, okay? okay? Okay, let's all chill. You have a lot on your plate right now. You've got the homecoming game, the UVA. It's football, football. Football, football, what? You don't want to play football anymore? Did I say that? 
Look, I want to play football, Dad, but not 24-7, okay? I'm not you. Can you take it down I don't want jabs? you to be me. I want you to be better than me. Are we done here? I got homework. No, we're not done. Sit down. Sit down. Now, football is your best shot at a scholarship. Your mom and I want you to go to college and make something of yourself. You always have the family business to come back to. What if I don't want the family business, huh? That's your choice. But you have a lot of options. You can do whatever you want. But I am telling you right now, if you get this girl pregnant, you will ruin your life. I just don't want you to use this house as a crash pad. OK? One last thing. I know what it's like to think you're in love, but love is more than these, these romantic feelings. It's about respect. It's about care, loyalty, and honesty, OK? OK, Dad. Laura? Lori? Hey. Hey. You OK? That was uh, awkward. <laughs> Ben, did I ruin your life? What? When you quit school and came back here and we started dating. Did I ruin your life? Why would you say that? You just said it to Jesse. If you get that girl pregnant, you're going to ruin your life? Come on, Lori. What? I got pregnant, and you did the right thing by me. You married me, and then I go and miss Carrie. And I mean, did you ever feel like, like I trapped you? Hey, stop this. I wanted to marry you. Do you think that I regret any of it, you or Jesse? Honey, don't ever, ever think that. I've been in love with you since the fifth grade. You didn't even know I was alive. Yes, I did. Oh, bull. In the fifth grade, you wore this crazy little leopard skirt that I was nuts about. I wouldn't be caught dead in a leopard skirt. Oh, I got skirt. news for you, baby. You wore it. I think you're confusing me with Charlene Pugh. <laughs> no, no, no. Now she would have worn a leopard skirt. Come here. Ben, you should have seen their faces when I came through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Join Dora in a must-see holiday adventure that the whole family can enjoy. Dora's Christmas Carol Adventure is available now on DVD. Keep watching Unanswered Prayers for a sneak peek of Gwyneth Paltrow and Tim McGraw's new film, Country Strong. It's a very hopeful message. Country Strong, in theaters everywhere January 7th. More Unanswered Prayers coming up on Lifetime. Monet. She probably named herself that. She's an artist. <laughs> She's got this big tattoo on her forearm of a dragon or a gargoyle. Like on the buildings, the demons. <laughs> and the thing in her nose. Oh, I hate that. That's just unsanitary. Yeah. How do you blow her nose? Anyway, she's Ew. like, hi, Mrs. Beck. It's nice to meet you. As she comes waltzing out of his bedroom. Like, not even <laughs> uh, the least bit embarrassed. Not even mm -hmm. remotely. Honey, and uh -uh. Jesse, Jesse's pissed at me because I came home unannounced in the middle of the afternoon. That's so rude. That's I'm sorry. Right. You can't oh, let him troll. Thank you. I mean, whatever happened to doing it in the backseat of a car? Or we should do the quarry. That'd or in the nice. old luggage room <laughs> at the train station. You did it in the old luggage room at the train station? You didn't? <laughs> no, sweetheart. <laughs> what about Connie Spearn's pool house? No way. It'll be all over Facebook. 675. Thank you. Thank Here you. Go. Hey, you gotta buy something. They don't like it when you just hang out. I don't have any money, so. <sighs> Thank you. I will take one of your delicious oatmeal cookies. <laughs> mm. Thank you. So there's this old luggage room on the train station. No one ever goes inside. Uh, no way. Yuck. That is so gross. Forget it. Hey, ball cross side. Bring it on. I'm thirsty. Oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I think this round's on you, my friend. OK, hot shot. Just rack them. Mm. What do you want, Ben? Two more. Yeah, 
give me a sec. Hey, Ava. Hey, uh, Kenny, this is Ben. We went to high school together. Good to meet you, man. And nice to meet you. You alone? Uh, no, I'm here with a buddy. Kenny's my real estate agent. Oh. He's uh, giving me a lecture on curb appeal. Apparently, my mom's curb isn't peeling enough. <laughs> That's a tough market. Yeah. You want to join us? No, I'm in the midst of being pummeled to death. I think I'm going to try and go salvage my dignity. Take it easy, Kenny. See you, bud. All right, you are toast. OK, wait, wait, wait a minute. Fourth grade, Jimmy Sorensen. Jimmy Sorensen? Oh, oh, those humongous ears? Yes, honey, and I love them both. <laughs> oh, my God. First love. So powerful. Honey, I'm telling you, nothing like it. Mm -hmm. So, Lori, who was yours? Oh, my God, that's so easy. It was Ben. Oh. Stop. Time for a game of eight ball? Thought you went home. Nope. Good looking dude, that real estate agent of yours. Let's just hope that he's good at selling. <laughs> so who breaks? Visiting team from Chicago. You know, my dad hates your tattoo. Yeah, my mom hates my tattoo, too. So, uh, I'm going to New York this summer. Why? Alvin Ailey, he was this famous dancer. He has this program. I go every year. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. You'll be in New York getting all famous, and I'll be stuck here driving a truck with rocks in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, so famous. It's just a workshop. So we'll stay here. Jess, the whole reason I slave away in this muffin factory every year is so I can pay for my summer, because my mom can't. So you're just gonna leave me? Oh, it's not like that. You know I love to dance. It's my passion. Oh, I thought I was your passion. No, football is your passion. It is? It's not? I thought you loved football. I play football. And my dad, he loves football. So you play football because your dad loves football? You just stop talking and kiss me. Sure. Yes. Well played. I had a good teacher. So after Mr. Porsche. Which got repossessed, by the way. Did I tell you that part? No way. <laughs> yes. He was basically in tears on the street, seven quarters. Oh, man, not the Porsche. So, after that whole debacle, I got a job buying from Marshall Fields, and I was traveling all over Europe and Asia, and I met this very interesting and charming older man. Eleven Corner. Jean Richard. He was an art dealer. Nice. He, uh, taught me about art and culture and, you know, this little small-town naive girl from Virginia. Right. Yeah. He showed me the world and we were married. Everything was wonderful until... Nine ball. Are you going to clean the table? I'm hoping so. <laughs> Wait, until what? Oh, he was indicted for fraud. Really? Yeah, apparently uh, he was selling some European master paintings that were painted in Taiwan. Oh, well, that's not nice. No. And last, and possibly least, was Jerry the stockbroker from Chicago. Well, now, what could be wrong with Jerry the stockbroker? <laughs> he was just crazy. Then why the hell did you marry him? I didn't know he was crazy until after I married him. Give me some credit. That would be game. Want another beer? Yeah. We always have fun. You? I shot some pool with Hank. Huh. Good. Jesse home? 
He's asleep. I'm exhausted. You coming to bed? I'll be in a bit. you and Ben take that trip we won to Miami. Why? You guys should have that vacation. I couldn't drag your father to a beach with a backhoe. <laughs> you two go. Just get away. We'll see. If the Lofton thing comes through, please God, we'll be swamped. What's this? Ava Anderson. Oh, yeah. Yanni and his crew were doing some repair work up there. Nothing big. Huh. Didn't Ben tell you? No. Now here, it's still going to need a two-degree grade, so let's uh, put the retaining pond here on the north side. Knock, knock. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm sorry to interrupt. I need your John Hancock here. It's marked for the loan extension and the refi. Nice. So I didn't know we were doing a job up at Ava's. I had some of the guys fixing a few things, helping out a little, you know, for resale. Oh. She's paying for it. Uh, yes, I can see. And it helps keep our guys working while things are slow. Mm hmm I didn't tell you. No. You know, there was a broken pipe, sidewalk. Oh, Jeanette pointed that out. I mean, what could I do? She asked, No, so. I know. It's fine. It's great. I just was surprised. I usually yeah. know what jobs we're working but it, on. It was so small. You didn't mention it. Well, I thought I had. I was surprised. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Carry on. So listen. Holy crap, this is a major honor. I guess. You guess? What are you so bummed about? Just look at the dates. August 3rd to... Summer football practice. So skip it. See, that won't go down with a number of people. One in particular. Where are we going? You'll see. Jess, hello, this is your passion. You're this amazing writer, and the people at the university totally get you. They get you so much, they're willing to pay for you to go. Mm. What do you want to do more? Ah, big guess. Penn's like an hour away from New York. Sounds pretty good. There you go, decision made. I should be a therapist or something. What is this? Uh, uh, is this the old luggage room? Yeah, I scored the key. Uh, no way I'm going in there. Come on, you see, I cleaned it up. I even made us a little, uh, loved it. Um, we can canoodle in. Oh, Jesse, this is so gross. I mean, you're cute, but this is not happening. Huh, and the Saints lost to the Bengals 35 to nine. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. They needed you on defense. That goes without saying. Mom gave us their trip to Miami. It was sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. I said no, but but maybe we should take it. When? Christmas. <laughs> we better be up in Lofton over Christmas. Yeah, but it would be nice to get away. Just for a few days, just the grown-ups. Let Jesse have his play palace all to himself. Hmm. <laughs> What do you think? About? Miami. Oh, I don't know. Let's just see what happens with Lofton, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you. Morning, sunshine. Your pancakes. I'm good. What's up with you? I'm just tired. You need to get to bed earlier, Jess. He's up late texting his girlfriend. Her name is Monet, Dad. How about a little less Monet and a little more focusing on the games to come? Grab a banana. And a yogurt. Oh. Good arm. All right. Later. Have a great day. Perfect. This is exactly what he needs now. Do we, do we have any butter? Laura, are you going to call on the Lofton deal today? Uh, no. Why? I think you should. I don't want to look desperate. Well, we are, babe. I don't see any butter. And how long does it take to read a proposal well, anyway? Well, maybe we're out. We're out of butter? I didn't think things were that bad. Hey, I've been busy. I need to get to the store. Why are you so grumpy? I don't know. I talked to Coach T. Jesse's great. An amazing talent. You know, la, 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 la. Just lacks the drive, doesn't think he wants it enough. 
Okay, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't, or maybe he's lazy. Oh, come on, that's the last thing that kid is. Hey, when I was on the team, every Saturday, 6 a.m., we're out there. Every minute we're late, we did a mile. And I sure as hell wasn't tapping girls in my bedroom. And how do you suggest we pay for his college without a scholarship? We're gonna use the money we just loaned to the company? He can get a student loan, he's a bright kid. What if we kid? don't get the loan? What if it rains tomatoes, then we'll make Bloody Marys or gazpacho or something? Have some jam, babe. I'm fine, I'll grab something from the Roach Coach. See you later. <clears throat> Number five's good. What are you doing here? I had to take a break from packing boxes and I wanted to see your son play. He can play? Better than his dad. Mm. He's a looker too. Mm-hmm. That would be his mom. You must be proud. Yes, I am. <sighs> Ava, to be honest, I don't really know how to be around you. I know. Strange for me, too. Hey, did they get that chimney all worked out? Yeah. It pulls beautifully, and, and Yanni, he's brilliant with cement. <sighs> yeah, Yanni's the best. Ben, I hope that you take this the right way, but I always thought if I came back to Ashland that you might be here. Oh, I am definitely here. No, I mean, like we were before. I know it's selfish, but when things would get bad in my life, my one refuge was imagining that you were here, waiting for me. I did wait for you, Ava. I know. I know you did. Oh, well, hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm just uh, picking up my son. Got to get him some new shoes. Seems to be growing out of everything. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt? You didn't interrupt. Gotta drag them off the field before the stores close. You know, they're going late today. Lane, let's do this! Bye. Bye. Bye, Jeanette. <laughs> oh, I can see our picture tomorrow, front page of the Ashland Times Dispatch. Then I'm trying to get things in order and get out of town. I don't want to complicate things for you. I don't know, I'm having trouble. I can't seem to leave this place. Go there when there's Olay Regenerous. Microscoped and clean hydrates better than some creams costing $500. And not only that... 80% of women find Olay to be a luxurious experience. Olay. Challenge what's possible. Hey, I'm the one who should be pissed off. Jeanette needs to keep her damn nose out of everybody else's damn business. Well, darling, that ain't gonna happen in this lifetime. And why should you be pissed off? I'm not pissed off. But if I was, it's because you and Ava keep having these secret little meetings. At our son's football practice? I didn't even know she was gonna be there. Well, why the hell was she there? How would I know? Some nostalgia thing. She wanted to watch a football game. She's lonely. She doesn't have any friends in town. Well, she certainly seems to have you. We are doing work at her house. My God, are you jealous of her? Should I be? I don't think so. You don't think so? <sighs> hey, guys. Morning. What? What's wrong? We just got a call. What now? We got, got the, the contract! contract! Lofton? Yes, it came through. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, my God. And we set the production site tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I ran out, I ran out and I got champagne. Irene, we got some paper cups. In the bathroom. Woo! Oh, you talking? Nice work, you two. Can I be honest? I was sweating this one. Can I be honest, Johnny? We were, too. <laughs> it was all Lori. It really was. They're our best team. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey there. Plumbers just left. We're 100% copper now. You have a good crew. Yeah. Listen, uh, 
I'm going to have to send Danny Keller over tomorrow to finish up the repairs. A big job came through, and I'm not going to have any guys available. Jeanette called Lori? Yeah. That, too. <laughs> Ava, listen. I have a good marriage. I know you do. You have a perfect life. Here's to a perfect life. Well, nothing is perfect. <laughs> it's damn near perfect. Ashlyn, the tomato capital of the Commonwealth. Uh, having been born here, growing up here, I know practically everybody. I have to drive down Main Street one more time. I don't know, sometimes I envy you for getting out of Dodge. I've lived all over the world, Ben. Dodge is looking pretty sweet to me right now. Hey, I went to the uh, farmer's market today and I bought some goat cheese and fresh pears. Do you have dinner waiting? Frozen lasagna at home, waiting to be nuked. Lori and her mom are at book club, so. Get your ass in here then, let's eat some real food. No, 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 I should really get back. To nuked lasagna. There's no sense us both eating alone, come on. What were their names, the farmers? Do you remember? Lester Gill did an A1 job with this chimney. Remember, the twin brothers. One was really skinny, the uh, other... Floyd and Lloyd. Who is your daddy now? Bat Floyd and Lean Lloyd. <laughs> they wore the Floyd. same coveralls. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, and we took one of their horses. Oh, no, no, no. Let me correct that. Not we, you. You stole him. <laughs> I borrowed him for the night. And it showed up at your house. No, no saddle. <laughs> I dared you. And then we rode up Fern Hill, mm -hmm. and you held me so tight from behind. All right, give me a break. I'm not a horseman, all right? <laughs> no, I liked it. I thought it was sexy. And then we tied him up at the quarry. Then we swam. Yeah, first we swam. First we swam. God, we were crazy. <laughs> How about it? About what? The quarry. What, now? Yeah, why not? For old times, then? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because we can't. Come on. I dare you. No. I double dare no. you. No. <laughs> why? Okay, first of all, it's freezing up there. Yeah, so that never stopped us before. <laughs> what, are we too old to have fun? Yes, we are. No, come on. No. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. It's raining. Ah, come on, we're going to get wet anyway. <laughs> Reach there. I'll race you. Come on. <laughs> We're still crazy. Let's get out. No, Woo! no, you wuss. <laughs> Who are you calling a wuss? Race to the rock. No. Yes. Ah. Ah. You're insane. <laughs> Does it get any hotter? Give it a chance. It needs to warm up. Stop being a wuss. <laughs> that was fun. Admit it. All right, all right. I'll admit it. It was fun. <laughs> but I think it'll be more fun once I get feeling back on my toes. There you go. <sighs> Things don't turn out the way you think they're going to, do they? Hmm? Oh, everybody thinks I've lived this exotic and exciting life. And here I am, back in the front seat of my old high school sweetheart's truck. My married old high school sweetheart's truck. Hey, I'm not that old. Mm. And I've lost my mom. My sweet, sweet mom. I know. I know it's hard. I've been there. You know, I was lying in bed last night. In my mom's big, empty house. And it hit me. I don't have any children. I don't have any family to speak of. I mean, I got a crazy ex back in Chicago. <laughs> but I'm all alone. No. Shouldn't 
be so hard to be happy, should it? Him? No, he's good to go. Have you checked on Mr. Bear? What happened? Well, there was a tree. It fell across the road. It was pouring down rain. I lost control of the truck. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Thank God you're okay. Here you are. He's, uh, he's and Ms. Anderson left this. You want to bring the car up front? I need to wheel him out. Sure. I was half sloshed. Driving half sloshed? Isn't that something you warn your son about? I, I know, it was stupid. But we went to the quarry goofing off and we just... Just? We were talking about how we used to swim there. Uh, we were just being crazy. We literally jumped in for one second and we were out. Wait a minute. You and Ava went swimming in November. Skinny dipping? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Nothing happened. So you didn't have sex with her? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, good. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah. You two are sloshing around naked in the quarry. Why not have sex with her? No one would know. I mean, you didn't even kiss her. I'm not going to lie to you, Lori. I did kiss her. You kissed her, but you didn't have sex I with her. I did not have sex with her, okay? Why not? We didn't have sex. What's wrong with you but two? But I wanted to, damn it. Is that what you want to hear, huh? Does that make you happy? Are you happy now, Lori? You out of the house. Go sleep in a motel or a friend's or something. We can tell Jesse. You can have the honor. There you go. It's not a ring. It's a very hopeful message. Country Strong, in theaters everywhere, January 7th. Hey, what's up? Jess. You know, all my life, my dad, Mr. Big Guy in town, big football here, all my life, I did it for him, for him. What happened? He cheated on my mom, okay? And she kicked him out. Oh, that is so oh, I mean, you know, he didn't totally cheat, but almost totally. Anyway, she's pissed as hell. What did he say to he you? No, he has nothing to say to me. Nothing. I mean, how could he do this to my mom? Who's the woman? It's some high school old flame chick of his. I mean, it's really pathetic. Wow. This really, really sucks. Yeah, it really does. Do you think they'll split? Maybe they won't split. Maybe they'll work it out. Guess who? <laughs> He's left me like a thousand messages today. You gotta talk to no. him. Actually, I don't. Let's just go back to your place. I can't. I'm sorry. You know I wish I could. But I gotta get back to work. You know, people need their lattes or they'll die. I 
I love you. Text me every minute what's going on, okay? No, they gave us the quote for two trailers. Make them honor it. Yanni, Yanni, I spoke to the guy. Please just handle it. I gotta go. Jesse? Son? Hey, Jess. You rang? Yeah. Listen, I feel terrible about everything that's been going on. Oh, why, Dad? We all feel great. Look, this is kind of awkward and bizarre for me. So just say what you want to say. Well, first of all, I want you to know that I love your mom. And I didn't have sex with this woman. It was just one of those things that snowballed. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is it never should have happened. And I'm sorry that I let you and your mom down. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Jesse, it was a mistake. I made a mistake. People are not perfect. I'm not perfect. No, well, here's the problem. I always thought you were. Okay, you lecture me about respect for Monet, about respecting your partners. How about respect for your wife? Okay, you don't owe me an apology. You owe it to mom. Jess. You know what, Dad? In homecoming game, don't even think about it. And if I find out you're there, I am walking off the field. Hi, you're out late. I was worried. I had a game at Lynchburg, remember? Oh, my God. I completely forgot. How'd you do? It's all good. We won. I'm sorry that you heard what happened last night. That, that we brought you into it. Well, I'm glad I heard. I'm glad I know what's really going on in this house. Jesse. Whatever your dad did to me, or I did to him, you have to know he loves you, right? So what happens now? I honestly don't know. Drop Henry off at his podiatrist. Prove these, would you? How you doing? I'm okay. What's with you two? Ben's just heading up to Lofton. Yeah, just gonna get things going. See you later. <clears throat> What's going on? Ben and I are just, um... Taking a little break. Why? What happened? Come on. This is so hard. <laughs> is it Ava? How did you know? <laughs> oh, Lori, small town people talk. Oh. It's okay, baby. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ben. Um, I hope you're feeling okay. I'm fine. I'm a little stiff, but I'm fine. But, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for messing things up again. So, will you give me a call whenever you can? He said that? Oh, yeah. 
Well, at least he's being honest. Well, what else could he say? He was caught half naked, dripping wet in the truck with her, which is basically totaled, by the way. Oh, I had a bad feeling about her the minute I saw her in the paint aisle at the hardware store. Yeah, well, I didn't want to go there. Honey, men can't help themselves. They are hardwired that way. And even the good ones have just an ounce more control. And don't look now because somebody is looking at you. I'm sure. I look so attractive right now. Anyway, I think we should ding dong ditch that bitch. Hey. <laughs> would you like to dance? Uh, look, actually, my friend doesn't feel like dancing. You kind of caught her at a bad time. Actually, Jeanette, I would like to dance. Okay. No, I no really appreciate it, but I, I just. The 2988 cat loaders. Do you think that's enough? Ben? Yeah, two's good. And we've gotten started here at Stone Creek Stadium. The Dunlop Gunners won the toss and elected to receive. Jackson kicking off for the Wolverines. And it's a beautiful kick deep into the end zone. Smith takes it out. He's running it out, a couple of big blocks, and Smith goes down to the Gunners' 27-yard line. Honey, do you see Lane? He's on the bench. Good. Jeanette, mm, this is Monet. Hi. Nice to meet you. We've surveyed from Route 54 to Route 1, and, um... Yanni, can you walk them through this? Yeah, of course, Ben. All right. Of course. Oh, excuse me. Here, uh, so what do we really need to do now? Six minutes remaining in the second quarter. Here's the snap. Option right side. Hands to the fullback. Boom! Hit short of the first down. <laughs> Jesse Beck on the tackle. Riley on a nice 12 yard catch. Taken down at the Wolverine 45. First and 10. And the Wolverines send in backup receiver number 90, Lane Kiesel. Oh, dear God. God. He's going in. He's going in. Oh, no. Kiesel! Gunner's defense sniffs it up. Fumble, the ball is loose. Kiesel picks it up. Leave it! Trying to make a move. Ooh, what a hit. Kiesel is dark piled at Wolverine 30. That's a 15 yard loss. But at halftime, the Wolverines are ahead 17 13. He's up. He's up. He's up. Nice. This way. Good job. Nice ups. Take him one for the team. Here, hon, give him some salt. Yeah. Take him, huh? Jesse's doing amazing, though. His dad put a helmet on him when he was five years old, and we could never get it off of him. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is good. Ricky, this is the best fried chicken I've ever eaten. Don't get a swelled head, Ricky. Oh. He says that about anything he puts in his mouth. Mom! Chicken's great, Brett. It's deli. 
And the Wolverines looking to increase their lead with a 35-yard field goal attempt. There's the snap, the kick, and it's good! So with 3-11 left in the third quarter, the Wolverines have widened their lead to 20-16. And with that completion, the Wolverines are first and ten. Yes. Fourth quarter, 20 to 16. Wolverines leading with nine seconds left in the game. Defense! 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 Come on, let's do it! The trick! The Gunlock Gunners have one timeout left. If the Wolverines' defense can hold them here. Gunners wide receiver Smith split out wide. That lined up tight against him. Come on, Jess. Come on. Shotgun. Come on, Jess. Turn it. Ellis drops back. He goes deep. Come on, Jess. Down the sideline to Smith. Beck is right with him. In the end zone. It's a touchdown. Smith scores with nine seconds left in the game. Beck just unable to deflect the ball away from Smith. Damn it. He played a great game. He played a great game. Really good. Ah, on homecoming day, the Gunlock Gunners have stunned the Stone Creek Wolverines. What a heartbreaker for the Wolverines and their fans. A tough homecoming dance tonight, ladies and gentlemen. on the radio. I drove down after. Just spare me the speech. I screwed up. Hey, you screwed up. So we're both even, huh? It was a tough loss. That I blew it. Hey, it happens sometimes as part of the game. But man, you played your heart out. You gave it your best. I mean, what pass got by you? Hell, you can take that. It'll be funny reading tomorrow's paper. Beck, unassisted since Stone Creek, right into the toilet. And if it says that, it's not gonna break you. And what I did and what your mom's going through right now, that's not gonna break you either. Just, life's complicated, man. But we learn from these kind of things. And we get up and we keep going. And what else can you do? Come on, bud. I'll take you home. <clears throat> hey, by the way, that was one hell of a tackle in the first quarter. Yeah? Yeah. You want to come in? No, no, no. I've only got a second. I'm sorry about the game. I was listening to it on the radio. Jesse doing okay? Yeah, he's good. You know, he's a tough kid. Life lesson. Mm -hmm. What doesn't kill you. Makes you stronger. Exactly. Story of my life. <laughs> I think I know why you're here. 
Ava, you, you've been an important part of my life. You know, when you left me for Don Porsche Cahoon, <laughs> I prayed. I actually prayed that you'd come back to me. But that didn't happen. And it was tough. But something good did happen. I love Lori with everything that's in me. And I don't know if I'm even gonna get her back, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. And you should. You're a good man, Ben Beck. You deserve to be happy. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I think I'm gonna move back to Chicago, start a design business with the money from Mom's house. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. And who knows? I'm sure I'll find someone. All right, then do me one favor. Try and stay away from the crazies, huh? <laughs> I'll try. Good. Be well, okay? Bye, Ben. What are you doing here? I waited until Jesse left for school. You think we can talk? What are you going to say? That you love me? It goes without saying. Does it? I hope so. You know, I'm not like those wives who can stand stoic and brave next to their philandering husbands. Because right now, I just want to throw something at you. You know what? You go with Ava. You've been carrying her around with you for 20 years. Now she's yours. Go. I don't want her. I want you. I want my family back. Well, Ben, you can't always get what you want. Lori, please. No, I can't. I can't hear it right now. We got so wrapped up in our busy lives, I took you for granted. Yes, you did. The business has been struggling, and I feel like I've been failing you. You did fail me. You failed me miserably. You know, cheating spouses, it's a national pastime, a national sport. It's our entertainment. But when it happens to you, it is not entertaining at all. I am completely broken up inside, and I don't know how to fix it. I wish I could, but I don't know how. You need to go now. tips and more visit lysol.com slash mission for health want more unanswered prayers find out how to get garth's autographed guitar check out videos photos and more go to mylifetime.com now look we've been waiting on this payment for three months now i understand that but... all right do what you gotta do you made it in one piece Graham's left some papers and stuff for you to sign. Great. Get to see my son. How's the job? Yeah, we're on schedule. A little worried about rain today, but... <laughs> How's your mom? Okay. I'm pretty quiet. Hey, I got a couple things for you in the office. Listen, why don't you stick around? Uh, we can grab dinner at the Loft and Savoy. They got that Friday night special. What do you think? Look, Dad, uh... I... I can't work for you next summer. Why not? Well... There's this high school writers program at Penn. I got accepted. Oh. Yeah, you know, they're covering everything. It's like a scholarship. Wow, I mean, they must be pretty thrilled with your writing. What about preseason football? No. What do you mean, no? You can't miss that. Yeah, I guess I will. Look, I'll play next year, but I'm, 
I'm going to this program. Okay, let me tell you something. There is no way Coach T is going to go for that. I talked to Coach T. He's cool with it. So is Mom. You know, I don't care who's cool with it. I'm not cool with I'm it. I'm going. It's my decision. That's funny, huh? Just when you think you got life figured out, game changes. Well, I guess that's what makes the game interesting, huh? You know, all my life, all I wanted was you to be proud of me. Son, I am proud of you right now, and I always have been. Well, you, uh, you think you could come home for Thanksgiving? Eh, I don't think I can do that to your mom. Can't just show up unannounced at Thanksgiving dinner. Not a good idea. Oh, hey. Ben's not here. I, I'm not here to see Ben. Do you have a minute? I've got lots to do, Ava, running this business. It's not glamorous. As you can see, I guess it's not even sexy if you think about it. Certainly can't top skinny dipping at the quarry, though I might have waited till August, but that's just me. Please stop. It was one dumb drunk night. Nothing really happened. I've already heard all this from Ben. So what can I do for you? I guess I just, I want to leave town this time with a clean slate. Ben was a gentleman. I truly believe he had no intention of having an affair. We just, we, we got caught up in the past. He loves you, Lori. After living with someone for 20 years, you pick up on little things like that. I remember how um, touched I was when you brought me flowers. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you love him? I loved them all. A good size? Yeah, yeah, keep chopping. Are those the rolls? Yeah, I got a little creative. Oh, good. What about the sweet potatoes? Oh, my mom's bringing the sweet potatoes mm. with marshmallows. Oh boy. Grams? Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> mm. Monet, your skirt reminds me of Lori. Me? You had one just like that, honey. I did not. Why does everyone keep saying no, that? No, she didn't. Her sister did. We got it from Marion on that trip to Mexico. I told you. Dab a little butter on the pan so they don't stick. But you used to steal it from her all the time. I did what? You were so jealous of that ugly leopard skirt that you would go into her closet and steal it. And then Marion would pitch a fit. Oh, my God. Ben said that, and I didn't remember. This isn't right. You should be here, Mom.
Listen, I came here to ask you to come to Thanksgiving dinner. I know it's last minute, but it would mean a lot to Jesse if you would come. And you? I can handle it. Look, Lori, I don't want to make things harder for you. No, no, I'm okay. Really, really, I was gonna head down to the Loft in Savoy for their Thanksgiving special. Five ninety-five, all you can eat. I mean, if you can eat it. Just come to dinner. You, you know, I could bring dessert. I just made a pie. Why? Something to do. An homage to Thanksgiving. You want to check it out? I should really get going. Otherwise, Mom is gonna start telling Monet all of our family oh, secrets. That's right. Your mom likes a few nips before dinner. <laughs> and that would be one of the family secrets. Come on, just a sec. For, just for a second. This is my humble abode. You're living high on the hog. Actually, I got a pretty good deal. I'm saving the company some cash. <clears throat> well, now that's actually kind of impressive. What are the brown things? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you want some coffee? No. Thank you. You know, I was thinking when I was making up my pie last night, when we first met, I was helping my dad sell fruit out of the back of a truck. And your mom was shopping for peaches. You had been running through the sprays. Your hair was all wet. And when Pop wasn't looking, I tossed you a peach. I was almost seven. Yeah. We go back a long way, Laura. Ben, I have a confession. I was wrong about the leopard skirt. It was my sister's, but I guess I used to steal it and wear it for some inexplicable reason. I know. Well, you don't have to be so smug about it. Look, I have no right to ask you this. Then please don't. No, but I need to. I've got this lump in my gut that just won't stop and... Lori, 20 years ago, I took the right road. I took the right road when I married you, and I know that with all my heart. I'm so sorry for the way I hurt you, I am. I'm asking you to trust me again, please. God, Lord, I love you so damn much. Hey, check it out. Brought you a really bad pumpkin pie. Ooh, where'd it go, man? Here? No, no, no. You brought it, you bring it in. Ah, come on. Try one of those little brown things. Remember when you're talking to the man of the Best turkey I ever tasted. Well, I hope you have room for some pie. I can always make room for pie. I'll take your plate, Mom. Well, we have apple, pecan, and a very special pumpkin pie, which Ben made himself. Wow, Ben, I didn't know you could bake. Isn't anybody daring enough to try my damn pie? I, I will. There, a brave man. Report back, sir. That's not fair. Henry likes everything he puts in his mouth. <laughs> oh, now that is the worst pumpkin pie I've ever bought. <laughs> oh, man, that's a worst congratulations. And there I thank the good Lord for the right gifts here. in my life. Sometimes I thank God for unanswered prayers. Remember when you're talking to the man of and just because he may not answer doesn't mean he don't care. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered. Some of God's greatest gifts 
our unanswered prayer. 